Well, hello there, motherfuckers, and, uh, here's your SmackDown review. Overall, decent SmackDown, not too bad, I gotta say. Pretty, uh, decent matches throughout. Nothing overwhelmingly exciting, but, um, it, it was an enjoyable watch, to say the least. You had Sheamus defeating Ambrose in the opening match. This was his, you know, mystery, uh... U.S. title opponent. It really wasn't that big of a mystery. It was just the guy who was a champion previously. It was a good match, actually. Um, not crazy about the finish. For God fucking sakes, I said this time and time again. Why can't he use the um, the uh, the Celtic Cross finisher? Why can't he use the Razor's Edge like he used to? What is this? Thing where he has to use the bro kick, use some other fucking move. If he has to use the white noise, use just change the finisher. The fucking kick is getting fucking obnoxious. Apparently, Sheamus is, you know, I read on No DQ, supposed to be heel when he kicked Ambrose um, in the face in the Battle Royal. But I don't think so. I think he's transitioning into being heel. I can't see that this is full-blown heel when he's barely even acting like one. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good match, I have to say. Very, very good. And I look at matches like this with Ambrose, and I really have to think about WWE's decision to make Roman Reigns the star member of the Shield. It makes no fucking sense why the least appealing, you know, the least charismatic and, you know, the one that doesn't even wrestle that great is being considered the number one talent. Then we got Cesaro and, and Bad News Barrett defeating Big E and RVD. Okay, short little match, I suppose, but, um... You know, very, very fucking short. Almost like, what was the point of it being so short? But I guess it was, you know, all right for a short match. Then you have Rusev de defeating Kofi Kingston. And this is a thing that I don't understand here. What the fuck is WWE's thing about last, uh, first names, rather? They hate first names. They're on a vendetta against first names. First names are going to be out. What? Pretty soon, you know, I'm not even going to have a name here on YouTube because they're going to just start pulling first names out from every fucking where. My God. You know, first it's Big E and Cesaro. Now it's Rusev. I mean, they, they have, like, something against it. I mean, what, what is wrong with first names? Steve Austin, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. I know they shortened that eventually, but they still refer to Triple H as Hunter sometimes. Stephanie refers to him as Hunter. Vince McMahon, you know, what if what if we said to Vince McMahon, you're not allowed to, you know, have that name anymore? What if you're not allowed to be called Vince anymore? Come on. You know, Alexander Rusev, I know they said that it sounds tougher when they did it to Cesaro, but Alexander Rusev and Rusev, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how his name is said. You know, pretty much everybody will probably call him Rusev anyway. You know, just, just it's, a, it's a weird habit they're getting into, you know. You know, WWE is not new to stupidity and stupid things and stupid habits, but, you know, this is a little bit dumb taking away names like this. I, I don't get it. And plus, this ain't going to make Rusev better or more appealing. He's still pretty fucking boring. And now they change where he's from. Instead of uh, Bulgaria, he's from Russia. And now they're going with this whole Putin fucking act. Ah, get the fuck out of here. You know, this is, um, it, it's cheap heat is what they're doing. It's cheap heat. And the thing is, this is not the same shit as, you know, Nikolai Volkov. We're not in, the, in a fucking Cold War. You know, we might not be getting along with Russia, but that doesn't mean that, you know, we have to make the whole uh, fucking thing about it. You know, we're not in the Cold War. You know, it's not a big thing, you know. It was, it was a bigger thing when there, when there was a nuclear standoff, but 
you know, come on. They, they, there's really no heat to be had here. And even with the crowd sweetener on SmackDown. And God fucking damn it, that sweetener is, is definitely on most of the time. They turn that shit up. They, they, it didn't even help that much during this segment. Barely anybody was booing. They don't give a fuck. Um, then you got Fandango and Layla defeating Santino and Emma. You know, there, there you go, motherfuckers, uh, with Emma. You know, you, you got a quality wrestler right there. You know, she knows how to wrestle. She's proved herself time and time again. And what do they do to reward her? They give her a fucking sock puppet. You know, if that's what they're going to do, then, yeah, I mean, they do deserve to lose. <laughs> if you're going to act like a fucking goofball like that, I, I don't get it. They, they spend most of the time talking about how clumsy and stupid Emma is. So what the fuck is the point? They brought her to WWE. They brought her up to the main roster just to insult her. Give me a fucking break. And you have Santino falling on the way to the ring. And then here's my other question. How many fucking times are they going to have this fucking match? For holy fucking shit, how long has this feud been going on? For three months? All they did differently is swap out Summer Rae. But watch on Raw be... Fandango versus Santino. They might even have the same mixed tag match. They might have Emma versus Layla. You know, come fuck on already. They're going to do these same three combos of matches, and now they have an excuse because they swapped out the Diva. Fuck, it's the same fucking match over and goddamn over again. And we just saw it. Just like we saw um, Kofi and Rusev on Raw. I mean, we... Just fucking saw this shit. Please. Give us something new. Or better yet, give us something good or at least decent passable. This is fucking shit. People that wear sock puppets on their hands are fucking weirdos. And, and, you know, here's the thing. First of all, if this is for the kids, this is not appealing. You know, the people that wear puppets on their hands are fucking psychotic motherfuckers. They're weirdos. They're probably pedos. So, you know, I, I wouldn't even present this to a child audience. You know, it, it's got implications of pedo written all over it. Then you got Roman Reigns defeating Mark Henry. Boring, boring match. This is the type of match, you know, that shows that Roman Reigns is not ready to be, you know, in the big time. Not ready to be considered the big star and break off from the shield and start winning a thousand world titles. No, motherfuckers. No, this isn't the next Randy Orton. God, <laughs> we don't need another Randy Orton, but that's probably what we'll get. You see, Roman Reigns ain't bad, but he ain't that impressive. It's a guy with a very limited moveset, very, very low on charisma, very, very low. On, I mean, he's got a presence. I'm not going to say that. I almost did, but he does have a presence about him. He has a look, but no charisma, no fucking uh, real moveset to speak of, nothing exciting. You know, how many guys have done Spears? Guys that were more popular, Edge, Goldberg, and better. You know, um, if you could work a good match with Mark Henry, that usually means that you're ready, you know, uh, because if you could get a big oaf like that and carry him to a good match, probably means you could carry anybody to a good match. CM Punk brought Mark Henry to a good match a couple of times, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, Roman Reigns, uh, he, he did not. Then it was Los Matadores with El and El Torito defeating 3MB and Horn Swaggle. Um... A little funny, but this act is getting tiresome. You know, uh, this is something that really shouldn't carry on too much. It, it was funny. I, I liked what they were doing on Raw, and definitely at Extreme Rules, that was fucking hilarious. But now Heat Slater getting pinned by a midget. This is just getting unbelievable now. This is something that, <laughs> you know, the. This is where I'm actually starting to stop laughing and actually feel bad for the guy. Because, you know, Heat Slayer, he put this man through so much. And the thing is, he's actually very charismatic. 
and a pretty decent wrestler. I've said this for years now. But, um, you know, a guy is just looked at as a jobber and I don't really see why. Anyway, you got uh, Batista defeating Seth Rollins up next. Match was pretty boring when Batista was on that offense. A little bit of a flurry by, by Rollins made it exciting. So it was all right. Then it ends with um, Seth Rollins being bashed on the announcer's table and he gets counted out. You know, here's the thing. Um, Seth Rollins, before the match, you know, he weighed in at 217 pounds. You know, are you, are you telling me that Batista, you know, has to beat a man like that by count out? This is what I was thinking to myself. I'm like, well, not a bad finish because he did get bashed pretty hard on the announcer's table. But, you know, Batista can't even roll him in the ring and pin him. Does he have to be looked at as that much of a bitch that he needs to be winning by count out? Now, I know there's, you'd say they're trying to protect Rollins, but how about Batista? Yeah, I, I'm not crazy about Batista since he returned. I think the motherfucker sucks. He's not even his half as good as he used to be. And Batista was never great. I know that. But this is pathetic. Can't even beat somebody the size of Rollins. You know, I would think nothing less of him if you beat him in singles competition because they're not ready to push Rollins by himself. It's pretty obvious, and this is also what really pissed me off. Ambrose and Rollins, they all get beat. You know, the more talented guys, the more charismatic, but you got set, uh, you got a Roman Reigns standing tall. Give me a fucking break. Give me a motherfucking break. They're definitely does not deserve that, to be the only S.H.I.E.L.D. member winning tonight. And everybody is losing, and he's the only one winning. It's pretty obvious that that is the guy that they want at the top now. Then you had the Wyatts um, defeating Cena and the Usos. It was all right. Not bad. You might say because it involves Cena, I'm going to shit all over it. But it was a decent main event. Nothing tremendous, nothing mind-blowing, but I guess it was okay. So, yeah, decent show. I mean, I, I enjoyed it for the most part. A couple of things here and there that, you know, CNT no matches and, you know, Rusev not being that impressive and it getting to be desperate, changing his name, changing where he's from, and, you know, and, and pretty much the whole thing with Putin is just fucking ridiculous. Uh, getting no heat whatsoever, a failed attempt. But uh, other than that, not a bad show. Couple of decent little matches, no real great matches, but decent ones. So I guess it was an okay show, not too shabby. Ha! <laughs> All right.